everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Gadget Lab Show. I'm Roberto Baldwin. And I'm Nathan Olivares Giles. And Nathan's going to show us the new HTC Droid DNA LTE something, lots of letters. Yeah, yeah. So this is the HTC Droid DNA from Verizon. It runs on their 4G LTE network. Comes out November 21st, 200 bucks on contract. And, uh, you know, there's a lot to like here. There's a couple things that I don't like so much, mm -hmm. but the first thing really, five inch display, 1080p resolution, that's as high as your HDTV. It's ridiculously high resolution for a phone. It's probably like the highest of any handset you can buy right now. So it's the highest in the United States, but does it, does it matter? I mean, if I put that next to the iPhone 5 or any other like really nice smartphone flagship, is it? No, it doesn't <laughs> matter. It, it really doesn't. It really doesn't because the iPhone looks good, this looks good, the HTC One X, the Nexus 4, you know, basically almost any top tier handset you're going to go out there and get right nowadays is going to look good. You could say it's retina display quality. Mm -hmm. This actually has 440 pixels per inch, which is higher than the 326 on the iPhone 5, but it doesn't matter. They all look good, they all look great, they're beautiful. You can watch videos, you can play games. Uh, I've been looking at magazines and they look great, but I mean, it's also a five inch display. I don't really think I need to live with a five inch display. It's, it's kind of difficult to use with one hand. It's a bit of a pain. And you're a big guy, so I'm a big guy. you've got big, biggish hands. Exactly, exactly. So if you're a smallish person, it's you just, have smallish hands. It's just really five, just really? Good. Do we need five inch display? But, but, if you're, but hey, if you're into the big screen thing, this might be something you wanna check out. Cool, cool. So now, I, I do notice there's one thing that's mm -hmm. kind of lame, and that's this thing on the bottom. Yeah, I, I would say that I kind of um, really strongly dislike, I'm not sure if hate's the right word, but I, I, I might even hate it. It's just this little door that covers the USB port, and it just feels like it's gonna break off. So it when you buy like it. It's begging to break off. So when you buy this, you should just open the box, take the phone out, rip the little plastic thing off, <laughs> throw it in the trash, and go on your merry way. Maybe, maybe. That covers a little USB port here, so you can charge it up. I mean, you know, in other HTC phones and a lot of other smartphones in general, that port's exposed. It's fine. You, I mean, I don't know what they're trying to prevent, like maybe pocket lint or something. Peanut it's just, butter. Peanut it's, butter it, can it's, get in it, there. It's, it's unnecessary. Don't know why it would get it's in there, but it would. I mean, once it's closed, it looks pretty smooth and stuff, but it's just, it's going to break off. It's a pain. I don't like it. I don't cool. like it. Don't like it. But, other, you know, other stuff looks great. Cool. Beats, beats audio. Who cares? <laughs> so, uh, next we're going to have Matt Honan on with the new Jawbone Up. So we're here with Matt Honan, and he's here with the brand new Jawbone Up. Tell us a little bit about that thing. Uh, this is a fitness and activity tracking bracelet from Jawbone. Uh, it's called the Up. It's a little band that has a plug on one side that you can jack into a smartphone and sync with, well, an iPhone and sync with it. Uh, and it will track your movement and how much you sleep, and you can go into the app on the smartphone and enter stuff like about your meals and how you're feeling. Excited for, Woo! you know, uh, Sad. And, uh, <laughs> can you, you know, tell it you're sad? You can tell it you're sad, yeah. And, and it tracks what you're doing through the day. The, uh, the app also has things like a barcode scanner so that you could scan in a meal automatically. And it's basically meant to help you be more aware of the choices you're making. And th it even gives you a little bit of feedback on how to, uh, you know, on, on how to improve uh, your fitness or your activity level at least. It's like an arm guidance counselor. Sort of, It's yeah. like you're not doing a very good job. Right. right? You if really need to make, you need to make changes if you want to like But imagine, um, imagine if your guidance counselor vibrated, because that's how it works. <laughs> it, 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 when, like if you've been sitting around, you can set time limits on it. If you've been sitting around for say 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, it'll vibrate and you know that you should, it's a little reminder, you should get up and walk around um, and do something. And it also, you know, does things like it tracks your sleep so you can see, uh, you know, the next day like, oh, okay, well I'm not getting, uh, Good sleep at this time of the night, um, or and, and it even has a, like a smart alarm where it figures out that you're kind of restless in the morning, and it'll wake you up the optimum time before your alarm is supposed to go off. Cool. So it's a guidance counselor does this all the time. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Awesome. So now this is the second version of this. It's the second version. There was a Jawbone Up that came out around this time last year, uh, and I, like a lot of other people, I liked it a lot. It was great. It was like one of the best products I used last year until it quit working all of a sudden, and, and that happened to a lot of people who had it. And the company, uh, the company did a really uh, great thing. They, 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 they not only offered your money back, they said, you know what, you don't even have to ship the device back to us. Anybody who bought this will give you your money back. Um, 
and that was very nice. And so they, and then now it's a year later, and they have fixed some things about it. It wasn't they, they improved the waterproofing on it. Basically, is the big thing they did, and they made it a little bit more pliable because the bracelet's doing this all the time. And one of the things they found was that the circuit board and the wires and the, and the, the uh, wires in there weren't um, weren't handling that as well. So mm-hmm. it's more waterproof, so it should stand up better to showers and soap and that type of thing. And it's also a little bit more bendy, which is a technical term. Bendy. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Job on up. More bendy. And like your guidance counselor, but a little bit more irritating. And vibrating. And vibrating. A vibrating, irritating guidance counselor. So what don't you like about the, uh, the job on up? I mean, there are a few things that I, uh, that I would prefer it to differently. Like, you know, having to plug it into the phone every time you want to sync it, that gets old. I mean, I understand that, you know, by not having Bluetooth, it, it, it has a better battery life. You don't have to charge as often, but, you know, that's kind of a chore. Um, and also, it, it is more bendy, but it tends to get snagged on things, I've mm-hmm. noticed already a lot. Like, I'll be, I'll be taking off uh, a bag or putting something in the car, and it'll hook on something and kind of do this. And, um, you know, so it, would, it might be nice if it had some sort of actual clasp, clasp that, it, that, yeah. that, that kept, it from, kept that from happening. So just like flinging off, and then you lose it, and then you're sad. Exactly. And then how exactly. are you going to tell and, it and you're it, sad? Well you, can, well, you can tell it. Thankfully, you can <laughs> still tell the smartphone app that you're sad even if your bracelet is gone. Um, okay. Yeah, we should have a full review on it here shortly, and you'll see all the things I like and don't like about it. Cool. Well, that's it for today's Gadget Lab show. We won't be back next week, because next week is Thanksgiving, and you'll be eating poultry and pork and whatever else people shove in front of you. Um, but we will be back the week after that. So, cool. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>